hey there YouTube this is Mary once again it's been a while I haven't had too much of nothing on my mind just surviving day by day you know but um I did have my annual physical and come to find out for the past Three years, I have been taking too much blood pressure medication. They have, and I thought it was kind of strange. They doubled the medication, said take it twice a day. And this medication, my blood pressure has had been too low and um, making me tired. And, and I went to a different doctor, the same office, but one of the associates. Uh, she said she couldn't understand why I was taking the same blood pressure medicine twice a day. So she cut it back down to just once a day. And I'm, I'm feeling better, much better. More energy. And uh, so that's that's a good thing. You know, you have to be careful about the medicine and stuff and figure out what's going on. But I'm, I'm about to... Um, do more videos i got a lot of things going on and i'm getting a yeah it's a store i have a i have acquired a whole lot of uh, accessories for the home one of my decorators um had a whole shipment of lamps and oh just odds and ends and once i get it sit situated in the storage i'm gonna sh do a video and i'm gonna show you guys some things and I guess I don't know how I'm gonna sell it though. I guess you know the shipping would be included in the price, but it's gonna be real cheap. But the shipping is what I'm worried about because lamps can easily be broken and stuff. So maybe I could put insurance on it. I used to have a a store online store years ago, and uh, it can be done again, but. Um, maybe my son can take over because this is a half a warehouse full of goods. But I, you know, it's not that I'm greedy, but the uh, decorator said, "Come get it," because it's been sitting there for a while, and they offered it. He offered it to me um, six months ago, and I couldn't think. My mind wouldn't let me think about what I could do with all this inventory. So now I'm thinking as maybe I could, oh do an online auction with it because it's some some really nice stuff lamps and just oh odds and ends and things like that so we'll see i'm gonna get a truck to pick up this all these items on the 12th of february and then we'll see what we could do with it but i don't want to just give up on making money even though you know money is what it takes to live in this world I was thinking the other day, and I hate to be a, a naysayer or whatever, but this is what made me feel better about dying and getting old and all that stuff. And this is this is just thought that's been laying on my mind. What if the world we live in right now, the sad things that happen and all that, well, supposing this was hell. And when we die, we go to heaven. And the thought of that was like, oh, that's kind of morbid. Why are you thinking that? And I just, you know, I just let the thought sit there and marinate because at my age, you don't, I at least I don't rebuke a lot of thoughts because you get old, you just older you don't get these old crazy thoughts and and you know things you used to think about when you were younger and sexual in windows and things like that you don't get that you just kind of relax and enjoy the rest of the ride but i was thinking i said wouldn't it be something because i think about mostly everybody i know they're gone on they're dead and i said wow you really miss them but when they die you feel like they, they had the victory. They won the battle. And I say, wow, maybe we've been looking at death the wrong way. And this planet, there's so much sadness going on. It's just, it's like, 
just like the other day when this little girl and her brother, I forgot where they were, Florida, I believe, they were on vacation, uh, and they were digging sand pits, and the little girl died in the sand, a sand dune fell on her. And I know the parents were really upset that that happened. You feel like it's somebody playing a trick on you to make you come across I don't know how many states to come to Florida and for your baby to die like that. So you got to wonder, is it uh, a trick being played or is it the devil? Satan rule his domain and what's going on and we're just being tricked. But I thought about it. I said, now they say sleep in heavenly peace. And when you sleep without any crazy dreams or anything, that is peace. So I wonder, <laughs> this is kind of crazy, but I wonder when we sleep, how close are we to being in heaven? Because I've had many, many surgeries, and when they put you to sleep, you know nothing. And they said the dead know nothing. So you really don't know anything until you wake up. And how would I would wake up from surgery and I'd be hurting so bad. I would be angry that I, I said, oh, wherever I was, I wish I had stayed because I'm in pain now. So I don't know. It's just, I don't know, it's just crazy to have these kind of thoughts. But maybe it's not. I have them. But it, it comforts me. It's probably something inside of me that's comforting me in this phase of my life because it's nothing that I want. I mean, I've had houses and cars and all that good stuff. And husbands, boyfriends, clothes, everything. And it's nothing that I really desire except for no pain. I don't I wish I could be pain free. But just the peace that I get when I go to sleep, that is a beautiful thing and and I don't know. Maybe the, some of you, some of you, I may not even have any older listeners, uh, viewers, not listeners, viewers, but I, all the old people that I talk to when I go up to the senior citizen place, some of them are really, you know, trying to stay young and dancing and oh, and this and that. I need a man. I this, that, and that. But to be truthful, Everybody seems to be kind of content and we sit there and twiddle our thumbs and just, you know, relaxing because when we leave that center, we eat our little food and go home, but we are ready to take a nap. And some of them are sitting there napping right there. So, I don't know. That's just what's on my mind. And this thought will pass too. Next time I'll be on here, I'll come on here. It'll be something else on my mind. But, um, I'm doing good. I'm dealing with my friend, my dear friend. He's been my my uh, lover, whatever. We've been together since 1990. Oh, I guess 94. He has, uh, Harold, he has dementia. And I'm here to take care of him. We're trying to keep him out of the, the nursing home because that would be the next step, you know. But it's amazing to watch this disease dimension. It's unbelievable how your mind can, it's kind of like a, a computer. You know, you have random access memory and things you can just, the computer can just, you push a button and it goes to that spot and retrieve that information. But with this dementia, that information is not retrievable. It's like he can, he can give you things that happen a long time ago, just right on it, songs and who did what and, and things I don't even remember. He remembers it. But things that happened five minutes ago, he doesn't remember it. I could I could tell him something, uh, go in the kitchen and get this. And he'll come right back and say, what did you tell me to get? Or he'll tell me something, oh, say, he'll say something like, that's a pretty red book you reading. And I'll say, yeah, it's pretty as blah, blah, blah. Five minutes later, he'll say the same thing. And, and I'll have to remember, I can't criticize and say, I just told you that. I have to learn that that information is gone that quick. So this is a, 
I don't know, it's an experience for me. And, and maybe I have substituted this theory about this planet of uh, this earth that we're on being hell. Maybe I've substituted that to comfort myself because I know in dementia, or just as you're getting old, I know death is the next thing. So maybe I fabricated this in my mind to make me, to comfort me, to make me feel better about death. Because young people, they love life. It's not that I hate life. It's like the summer of everything that has happened. I've had oh, what you call sadness and happiness and all of that. And then when you sum it all up, you can you can say, well, it's all been good. It has been good. But it's still not tangible. It's like it's fading like a vapor and it's gone. But all you have is the memories of it. So anyway, that's what's on my mind right now. But this uh, thing with the dementia, man, that is something else. And I, it's a learning process. And sometimes I think, because uh, I could tell, I could ask my son some things. And I say, well, so and so and so and so, and, and do this, that, that. And he said, Mama, I told you, uh, you asked me that same question yesterday. I said, What? I did. I said, Yeah. And I said, Oh. <laughs> But I know this dimension can't be uh, contagious or nothing like that. I don't think it is. I don't know. But I tell you, you young people cherish every moment and try to remember. Because Harold tells me all the time, he said, Mary, remember not to forget. And he wrote that in his book, Remember Not to Forget. And that's about all I could say is remember not to forget because the day might come where you forget everything. Anyway, toodaloo and have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.